What is up guys? We finally know what's happening in Cat's Hex Hills. It's the Quaggan. It's it's always been them. It's this humongous crate tower that I'm hoping you can get into. I said on Visual Wood it might be like the JRPGs back in the days where you have to go through every floor and each floor you go up to, it gets harder and harder and harder. Maybe they have some events tossed in there. And when you get to the top, you have to fight the mega boss. You know, it could be a dungeon or just a little story instance for us to fight. But who would we fight though? Hmm. Could it be some huge crate boss? I mean, Wooden Potatoes did say crate can safe shift, so maybe we'll see something like that at the end of the dungeon? I don't know. It could be Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet still exists, you know, those invasions that you keep ignoring. Yeah, she's still there, and she's probably getting really pissed that you're not doing the invasions. No one's paying attention to me, so now she's probably acting out, and she's probably the boss. Or, like I said before, the Quaggan. Yes, the Quaggan. Yeah, see, they get you by, you know, acting dumb. But we all know, we all know that you're evil. You're so evil. What I'm hoping is that they change Cassix Hills and it will never be the same because that was the vision for Living World, that it changes stuff that's happening around you in these zones. That would be great. And I don't want it to go back to normal. No, no, no. After we defeat this tower or whatever it is and we blow it up or if we even blow it up in the first place, I don't want it to just you know, reskin it back to the old skin. No, I want to see all the trees still cut down. And there's going to be this event that you have to go plant seeds to grow the trees back. I mean, it's not that far from feeding cows, okay? But seriously, I want a scar on Cassix Hills. Like, guess what? I was here before this happens at Cassix Hills. Now Cassix Hills will never be the same. Now there's a new healing skill coming to all professions called Antitoxin Spray. This will cleanse yourself and nearby allies of poison, torment, confusion, and toxin. So I'm assuming toxin will be a new condition just for the tower, and that's pretty much why these crate look this way. They look kind of like the Lambit from Gears of War. I like it. Also, if you complete the Tower of Nightmares meta achievement, you will receive a Crate Obelisk Shard for your home instance, which can serve as a place of power for earning a skill point or charging Quartz Crystals. I feel like we're missing something here and like Arena is going to come up with some big home instance update and this is going to be amazing. We're going to be able to play dungeons and get furniture for our home instance from the dungeon, so dungeons will have a nice reward now. We'll be able to go out in the world and you know, just, just lamps will just fall from the air and wallpaper. It'll be great. That is pretty much it for the update, but I know this is old, but I just saw it. Ascended armor. You want to see how it looks like? Here you go. Heavy armor, guys, you might want to close your eyes. Oh, that rhymed. Yeah, look at that. It's... Mm, uh, mm, mm. What do you guys think? Maybe I'm just the only one. I just don't like that. I, I think heavy armor needs to be like plated awesomeness, you know, just heavy set of awesome armor. You know, I don't know how to explain. I guess my armor, I, I like the way my armor looks and even our raw armor is not necessarily heavily plated, but it's designed in a way that it doesn't look you know, weird, but it could be because of the colors. The colors might have been throwing me off a bit there, but we'll see when it comes out. What do you guys think? Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, share with your friends, leave a comment, say what's up in the comment section below, and stay visual!